Hey y'all, it's Alec and Cindy from Sharing the Journey. It's time to leave Rockport. Let's do a walk around, then I'll show you what the Tiffin looks like all closed up. All right, so we got the Jeep hooked up. She's in neutral. All my connectors are good. I just checked, grease, oiled everything. Slides are closed. I was worried for nothing. The only problem I'm having is the steps are not going all the way in, but I think we'll be okay. There's Dan. Goodbye, Dan. You take care. On the road. This slide's closed. Got the power disconnected. We are good to go. All right, Cindy. Look what the wind blew in. Yeah, last night was crazy. <laughs> we got a little bit late of a start. We were hoping to be out of here by 10. It's 1030. But they have had 20 mile an hour winds all night long. And we have got more okay. winds for the road. But this is what it looks like closed up. See right here, the slide's in right behind where I sit in the captain's chair. Got the slide all the way in. Got the ottoman. We can walk all the way through. Shower. Here's the bedroom. I have to climb across Cindy when we go to bed. Bathroom. Cat's in hiding. Chance taking his spot. So we're ready. Oh, let me show this. So, if you watched my video from Monday when I was opening this new um, new GPS system, the Lincoln Drive Dash, I told you that this old Garmin would not update. When we went to put the campground, we're going to end that Garmin, and it says the road doesn't exist. So, so far, that's saving our butt. Let's get on the road. All right, I hate to say it, but thank God we're on the road. Bye, Mike. We're free-flowing back there with the Jeep. She's rolling. Turn left onto Loop 1781. I stopped by the office. I am. So I can say bye. Bye to my office, friends. You're not going to say bye, Felicia? No, not this time. Next left onto Loop 1781. All right, Cindy's going to say goodbye to all her workers. So the wind is 20 to 30 miles an hour with gusts, I think, up to 40. And we're going to cross over Capano Bay here on 35 as we are leaving Rockport. I wanted y'all to see this view. I don't know if you can see in the camera the white caps out on the bay. They say this is the best sunset. Yeah, we did we ever yeah, we were down here with um what's what's their name came to see us. Now you got Lada and Yeah, with Lada James. and James. We saw a sunset down here, it was pretty. Today. Yeah, it's uh, according to the dash, it's 67 degrees. It was 58 when I got up, and yesterday it was almost 90. So, South Texas needs Prozac so it can kind of even itself out. There's a big old tire up here on the side of the road. Just thought I'd give y'all a perspective of what it looks like. Alex's point of view going down the road. Hi, everybody. 
You just couldn't resist. You had to say something, right? Yep. So, it's really windy today. And see me bouncing around. <laughs> so, he's got his cell phone there, which he's not doing anything with right now. Nope. But then there's the new GPS, which is doing really well. Then we've got the backup camera. And we've got the old GPS, the trucker GPS, that's set for the height and width of the camper. And length. And length. And so far, so good. The wind I'm, is, if I wouldn't have a safety steer on this motorhome, I don't know if I'd be able to drive it. I'm going to do a video after we get to Montana about the safety steer system. It's a couple thousand dollars, but it's money well spent. So I just thought I'd give y'all a view of kind of what it looks like and how we had it all, how we have it all plugged in and situated, but it's working really good so far. I wonder what's going on up here. I don't know. There's something going on up here. I wonder if it's just road work. Oh, there is a construction guy on the new system. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Looks like more of a lunch break. So I finally got my sea legs about me. We've been on the road for about 50 miles. So I'm pulling over to rest area. Cindy's gonna make some lunch. So we have it already done. Generator's not working. That's where we're headed. But I wanna go do a walk around. We're here in, just outside of Victoria, Texas. And yeah, we've been on the road, like I said, for about 50 miles. I wanna make sure that Tires look good. The Jeep is all connected. Nothing's come loose. Check the hubs. We're not overheating anything. Bikes are still secure. One thing that I did notice is going down the road, I guess the bumps and uh, I oiled the stairs real good before we left. It looks like they're working fine now. Well, we're here at the Love's Travel Center making our first gas stop. And yesterday we had a subscriber stop by the campground we were at in Rockport and said she'd been meaning to stop by the entire time that we had been down there and kept putting it off and then she stopped off the day before we left and she said she wanted to buy us a tank of gas and gave us a hundred dollar bill look at there first tank of gas 101.48 i won't bill her for the dollar 48 i'll take that but thank y'all we have some of the nicest subscribers we paid 2.99 a gallon I always add a little stay bill 360 to the uh, gas when I get through. We're going to move on down the road. We'll see you in a minute. All right, everybody. Looks like we're doing pretty good. Look at the wind. Show the grass being laid over by the wind on the side of the road. If they're able to see it. I don't know if they can see if we're moving too fast, but you can see the trees blowing, I bet. Yeah, the wind's terrible today. Traditionally, you don't like to drive on a windy day. Um, but we do have this appointment in Tuscumbia, Alabama to get the generator done and he's fitting us in. He's being very gracious and fitting us in. So we're gonna, you know, not that we're trying to drive in unsafe conditions, but they're just not ideal conditions, right, right. Yep. 
So we've been on the road for a little while now. It is 1.50 in the afternoon. Well, we think we went through a time change. We think, but I never saw a sign. It could just be memory lapse on my part. But we've got 231 miles to go, which is about three and a half hours. Should put us at our destination, Blue Heron RV Park in Iowa. Louisiana at 530. We've got some friends down there that actually own this campground and yes I paid full price minus my 10% for Good Sam's um, for the campground and uh, John and his wife are going to take us to dinner tonight so and we, we met them when we first started full time. Yeah back in 2019 is when we met them we haven't seen them since, but I told them we were coming through and we're going to stay at their campground. But we keep up with them on Facebook. Yeah, and he just texted me and said, that's awesome. What time are you going to get there? I told him, he said, well, text me when you get settled. Connie and I want to take you out to eat. So we're going out to eat tonight. Maybe we can get some boudin and some crawfish. What was that? You like you got some kind of fried gator or something the last time. Last we time we went out to dinner with them, I did get fried alligator tail, and I might do that with some of that special sauce. Because you liked sauce. that. Yes, I did. Yeah, I but, remember uh, that. So we're just cruising along. All the systems ex except for the generator have been working really good, no problems. Uh, you saw we did the walk around. You saw when we stopped uh, gas. And I want to thank that uh, that subscriber again. Um, you just meet the nicest people on YouTube. And so we we haven't ha we're on the road. You've gotten your driving legs on, and we've gotten gas probably for the day. Yeah, we'll get some more in the morning. Um. We used our all trails. I'm trying to do a video. All stays. All stays. Thank you. We're not hiking. That's true. We're not hiking. All trails is hiking. So I used our all stays for that, and I'm trying to do a tutorial type video about that that we may be able to put up later. But has the new um, what is it called? Um, link drive dash. Lincoln, Lincoln Drive, Drive Dash. Dash. So it has operated very well. The only problem I've had, and it's probably user error because my phone won't connect to my Jeep anymore either after the latest update, is I'm having trouble with the connectivity wirelessly between the two. So Bluetooth. To, well, it says you have to have both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi on and they both connect. So I don't know if it's because we're in the middle of nowhere and the Wi-Fi isn't, I don't know. It's empty. Yeah, but so we're going to see if there's a way I'm gonna look through. I've got some digital directions and I'm going to uh, look at that tonight and see if there's a way to tether them together with the wire and maybe that will help. But I love having the big screen and it's a lot more up to date than the old uh, Garmin there. And uh, so far, it's working like a charm, I think. Yeah, happy so far. But uh, I'm ready to get to Louisiana. I'm telling you, I didn't realize how ready I was to leave Rockport. Loved Rockport. The area was beautiful. It's a great area, but I was tired I think, of the what, Six months or so? almost seven, I think. Is is long for us we're not usually in one location quite that long and the wind oh my goodness the wind was just so bad and it would just all of a sudden out of nowhere come up but i guess when you live on the coast or on a lake it's kind of that way but just wanted to give you a little update. We're doing really good. We're having a good day. The GPS, the new LinkedIn Dash is doing really well. And 
just wanted to kind of give y'all an update of our day. Blue skies, that's what we like. Hope you're having a good day and we're going to continue on. All right, it is... 2.53. Downtown Houston. Oh my gosh. On this, a Sunday. Yeah, and this is downtown Houston on a Sunday. And it is busy. I would absolutely hate to see what it would be like during 5 o'clock traffic or yeah. morning commute. This is where I start freaking out. Uh, don't freak out. Maybe I got the wheel. <laughs> Thank God, because we'd be in a heap of trouble if I did. But anyway, just thought we'd give you a little, a little clip of what we're dealing with right now. But Alec always seems to be able to get us through it. Guess you better know exactly what lane you need to be in because there's no getting over in this. I hope I got the right one. <laughs> We're going 3.2 miles per hour. Oh my goodness. How many more miles before we get out of this? It says 4.2 miles and we go east on Highway 10 or Interstate 10 to the right. And you said how many miles? Four point, now 4.1. We've sped up to seven miles an hour. So we got four more miles of this. Hopefully we're in the right lane. I can't wait to get out of this traffic. Glad we got a dash cam. <laughs> yeah, in case somebody tries to take off the front take end. Take off the front end. Hope y'all aren't having to deal with any of this. So, good news is, is we're out of a little bit of that traffic. Bad news is, is we missed our exit. So now we've got to get back on track. Like I said, in that kind of traffic, you just can't Especially in a 32-foot motorhome towing a vehicle, you can't at the last minute merge into a lane like a regular vehicle can. So, we're a little off track, but that's okay because it'll take us just a few minutes to get back on track. <laughs> so, what am I looking for, bud? 40B. 40B. All right, we are back on track. We're finally on the I-10. Yeah, but I'm sick of this traffic. Alex a little frustrated, but we're back on track. And we've got like comedy hour going on. <laughs> ready to get out of some traffic. How many hours have we been driving today? I don't know. I think we left at 10.30 and it's 3.30 now, so we've been on the road for five hours. Yeah, so we've been on the road for about five hours now. How long, much longer does it say? Two hours? It says we've got two more hours to go. It's gonna be a long travel day. We usually don't go this far first day out just because we're trying to get back into the routine of doing everything but we like we said before we've got to make it to to scumby alabama to get the generator worked on so we're just gonna have to push, well, it. push through but and we've got we're looking forward to seeing the these friends that we met in Iowa, Louisiana. So we're going to push through. It'll be a long travel day, but sometimes you just got to do it. Oh 
Oh my gosh. These roads on the I-10 are no joke. They are bumpy as all get out. And windy. It's windy again. Uh, there ain't nothing to block the wind. All the barges. What, what river is that, babe? Eh? Anybody can. Oh, well, we're near Galveston and Baytown. Oh. Um, let me just tell you Baytown. We're in Baytown. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Um, I 10. I don't know that we've ever been on I 10. And there was a major construction and the roads are just horrendous and you're excited that they're doing construction trying to repair them well i don't see where they've gotten any better we've been going up and down i-10 for five years and it beats the crap out of us every time <laughs> i want to know if anybody can answer put it in the comments section what are they spending our gas tax money on that's supposed to keep the roads going? You point the camera out. I was pointing at you. You point that that way. Because <laughs> you started looking at me. <laughs> like I said, it's comedy hour up here. <laughs> I've got stuff shifting and bouncing off the countertops that I have to keep trying to go back and fix and poor old Chance is just laying there chilling out and he's like just get me there safe <laughs> is Puma still in the stairwell? no Puma's, Puma all that bouncing around was too much for Puma Puma's done with all that y'all but this has been a crazy ride we are just bouncing all over the place um i'll probably bring you back when we get to lake charles because it is pretty going over that bridge right there yeah but i-10 no joke make sure you got good shots yeah <laughs> this is the kind of driving i don't know how Alec does it We've got a barrier on the right hand side and a barrier, you know, it is two lanes, but it's tight. You get a big old motorhome and a vehicle and then you add in the wind. Stressful driving. in and out of construction. See all this craziness on this road? We've been in and out on the I-10 and we're about to go into Louisiana. That's the welcome center over there for Texas. And we'll be coming into Louisiana here in a minute. Look at all this road construction. Uh. And the bumpy roads to go riding home with it. It's crazy. Thank goodness I got those new uh, Kono shocks. It says, uh, welcome to Louisiana. I haven't seen the sign. Here it is. Louisiana State Line. You see it? Oh yeah, it's a green sign right there. This is pretty cool. We haven't seen this. This is a Tiffin red. No? Yeah. It's an open road red, but they've got a cool little trailer that they're pulling. We're wondering what's in it, whether it's a car or what. We are almost 
to Lake Charles, I think, honey. Yeah, we got 22 miles to Iowa, so Lake Charles should be in the next 10 miles, I think. Yeah, so we're getting really close, and that's a good thing because we're getting really tired. Yeah, we didn't sleep well last night. Yeah, we didn't sleep well last night because they had 20 mile an hour to 25 mile an hour winds rocking the camper. I was worried about the canvas on the slide toppers and whatnot. And so I didn't sleep much and the first day getting back on the road is always a little rough. Because we're trying to get back into the swing of things. The coach has been sitting for a while and you just worry about things not going according to plan but so far so good all right here we go um, we just saw a sign for sam houston which is at a county state park and there's going to be a casino down here on the right Big old casino and see this bridge we're gonna go over. It's pretty cool. It's like stairway to heaven. Yeah. First time we went over we were like, oh straight up. It's not too bad though. It's about our fourth or fifth time crossing it now. I know. Who'd have thought that? Down there and see if you see Jay and Donna's car. because when we first started full-timing, we were um, doing campgrounds with Max. And when this park was brand new, we did campground maps for it. Blue Herring RV Park. Wow, it's empty. It is a cute little park. Nice, clean, the owners are so nice. We enjoyed working with them. So we'll pull in, get checked in. Where are the damn keys? All right, so I had to get show Alec this and I want to get his reaction on camera. So, baby, you asked me to guide you in. Uh huh. And so I was standing here flagging you down, and I looked down the side of the coach and to keys. line you up. <laughs> to line you up 
with the power pedestal. And what do we see? I was wondering where those went. <laughs> How long have they been traveling there? Since the loves. <laughs> So we're lucky we still got our extra set of keys, don't we? Yep. <laughs> Been a long day. <laughs> oh gosh. Just had to share that with y'all. So when you're traveling and you get somewhere where you're going, don't ever just open the refrigerator Watch door. Watch out for the things in that basket. See? We have bounced and rocked and rolled down the road so much. And I know every time I've opened this fridge today, stuff is about fell out. So, you open it very gently and I already hear stuff clanking. Do it very slowly. See? Oh, here, I'll drink that. <laughs> <laughs> you need one of those by the end of the day? Yeah. So stuff gets bounced around and tossed around. Don't ever just whack your door open. Just not and whack that, them all. <laughs> and that goes for these cabinets too. If you've got stuff in these cabinets that's going to slide around, Put it open. See how everything has come to the front? Well, it's so shifted and bounced and... You had to rearrange I'm gonna that. I'm going to have to completely rearrange it. But if you had anything that was glass, it's going to come out on you. Right. And we've had it happen with our dishes and stuff too. Well, I've made turns and lost dishes. <laughs> All right, so day one. 346 miles chance. You glad to be parked, buddy? Yes. 346 miles, a few pennies short of $102 worth of gas. We're going to fill up right first thing when we leave. We're down to a half a tank. It'll take another $140, $150 to put in it. Bedroom's a disaster. I got the slide open. Well, the, the bedroom's a disaster because I did not latch the TV cabinet oh. good and all that stuff came flying out of it. Thank goodness it came flying out on the bed. So, and I made a huge boo-boo with the keys. We're lucky to have them. You'd think after May 10th, it'll be five years. We'll have to do a, um, an anniversary party live. Oh, there you go. For our um, five years, but we should know better. You know, when you sit for months and months and months, we usually take a really small or short first day, day. First travel day. Just to get our legs about us and to get everything done, but we're on a tight schedule. So uh, John and Connie are coming to pick us up. We got to get refreshed a little bit. We're going to go get some Cajun, um, probably some uh, crawfish and some boudin and... Cindy's got, Cindy likes to suck the heads of the crawfish. I do not. I won't even eat those things. <laughs> so... But, you might get you some gator bites. Yeah. Oh. What? Are you going to get you any gator bite by you, Rome? I don't know. I think they sell it next door. We'll see. <laughs> so until tomorrow. Now tomorrow I'm going to do a review of this park real quick. We can do that. We've been here before. We've stayed here for weeks at a time. Yes. So a we're going to do a review on the park and then we will do uh start day two travel so it'll be broke down we're doing three days of travel then we're going to get the generator fixed and then we don't have a clue so find out what the clue is <laughs> all right safe travels y'all or if we have a clue right night <laughs>